friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because I have a Dollar Tree haul as well as a few items from Walmart that were in the Easter section that I thought were super cool that I wanted to show you guys. So with all that being said, if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm just going to grab it random. I'm going to tell you that there are a lot of new signs that I grabbed. Um, that's basically what my, my store had out that day was signs and a few other goodies. So let's just jump right into it. And we will start off with the signs because I found a bunch of good ones. A lot that you do not need to do anything to. And here is one of them look how cute this sign is the these little bunnies um it's like a little bunny garland they are detached from the sign so normally with the dollar tree signs like something like that would be like attached but no it's an actual real garland so i thought that that was so super cute so I picked up two of those and it has like the ship lap in the back. So I mean really you could flip it around. It's a good size sign. So you could do something on the back but I think it's super cute as is. And per usual disclaimer I'm a mom. My kids are home. You're going to hear them and it just is what it is. So um, I thought these were super cute as is as well. I don't really like the cutesy stuff so I would probably redo these but for people who are into the cutesy like Easter decor these are perfect they have faux little fence it's like a faux fence faux wood it looks really realistic the little paws on the bunny are like 3d I don't know if you could see that but super cute really cute detail and then it's basically just the same thing in different colors. So this one is like the blue scheme with the white fence. And then this one's the brown fence with like the white, uh, pink wording. I almost said white wording. It is white wording. Pink at the bottom, Melissa. <laughs> per usual. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh my God. These were my favorite. Okay. These were my favorite. These I pulled up and they have like a little cart outside this one particular Dollar Tree that I go to. And as soon as I pulled up, because Isabella was sleeping, I like stalked the cart and I could see these. And I just can't get over how stinking cute they are. Look at that. Like, what? Do you see the detail? It reminds me of like a vintage vintage like Easter sign. I love it. This is the type of decor I'm into. So naturally when I saw it, look at the barn. A little chick. And then it says Cottontail Farm Fresh Eggs. So you know everybody's going to go nuts. Just because that says Farm Fresh Eggs and it has a barn on it. Everybody's going to go nuts over those. So I did pick up, I think, two of these. I picked up two of those, um, the ones with the barn. And then I picked up one of the Bunny, Bunny Trail Farms Egg Hunt Staley 25 cents a basket. Okay, moving on. Now, look at this. Look how cute that is. This little bunny in the middle. They're doing a lot of the shiplap. This is what I'm saying. Dollar Tree pays attention to the Dollar Tree DIY community and like what we do and what we use because after like a big trend, like right, you know, shiplap is in, then Dollar Tree starts doing it. So look how cute that is. You, you wouldn't have to do anything to that, but I personally would do something different with this now these are old these are from last year but i just picked them up because my shed is a mess right now and i didn't want to like root through stuff to find them to show you guys so i just picked them up um they are the faux cutting boards i actually did a diy with these 
Um, so I will link that video in the cards in the right hand corner. I always do that in the right hand corner. And um, I just think they're so cute as is once again or to paint and redo you could leave the background the way it is because that's just like again that ship lap or you could paint the entire thing and once again make it yours flip them around make them double-sided so that i picked up two because i can use these i can use them for anything so i love the carrot detail and this little basket with the eggs i just love that i think they did such a good job okay now these are new i've never seen these before at my stores maybe you have at your stores in previous years however i don't think so but i could be wrong so look how giant these eggs are they're a really good size so that's what i'm telling you guys the dollar 25 is not such a bad thing they're getting in much better items so this once again with the ship lap you've got the galvanized bunny it says welcome friends with little floral pattern i think this one is super cute as is um, but it would be cute once again as a double-sided sign just like all of these are okay moving on to the next sign I think that this was out last year you guys can let me know down in the comments below I feel like I remember seeing this but my memory is like the worst so don't quote me but it but it says happy easter it's got the cute little bunny face with the carrots hanging down this is one of those things again i don't feel needs done um and i don't even really like the cutesy decor and i think this is super cute so um the little bunny is like a wood like faux wood and the carrots look vintage wood They've got little jute bows on, you know, the top. Super cute detail. That's the point I'm getting at. Super, super cute detail. So I only picked up one of those. The rest of the stuff I only picked up one of because I don't need all this stuff, you guys. I really don't. So the next one I picked up, these are new. I've never seen them before. So this is part of the spring decor, not the Easter decor. And it is, of course, the famous truck. It's magenta, it's got flowers in the back. Of course, all the glitter. And then they have the exact same one pretty much in a light pink. Like, how cute are these just as is? You don't have to do anything to that. You could even put them together and like I've done before and then put like real floor, <laughs> real florals in the back. That would be super cute as well. So many options with those. Again, only picked up one each. This is another super cute one as is. It's got the little cotton for the tails little buffalo check bunnies in the spring colors background is like pink shiplap how stinking adorable is that i just love it i just love it okay now we're getting down to the wire with the signs this is another one that I have never seen before and there was there were several different styles if you will so as always I'll pop them up on the screen um, that just goes without saying from here on out if I have footage for you guys I'll just pop it up on the screen um, when it's appropriate so that is one it says faith it's got the greenery with the eggs on the top and the bottom Again, with the shiplap background, I, I think they're all shiplap background, to be quite honest. But they really did it, you guys. Like, it looks so realistic. I'm very impressed. This one says love. It's got the little bunny at the bottom. It's got, like, I think Japanese cherry blossoms that's what it is it's got japanese cherry blossoms at the top and the bottom which is super pretty um 
and I just really love this design. What do you guys think? Do you like the love or do you like the faith better? Okay, now these are the last two signs that I picked up. They are the long signs that you guys know that I love. Now these are super cute as is. Just like the rest of them. Like, you guys, I'm really impressed. Generally, I walk in Dollar Tree with their, like, seasonal signs. And aside from fall and Christmas, a lot of times I'm just like, no, I definitely have to redo that. But majority of this stuff I was very impressed with that I would definitely hang up and not do anything to. So this is one of them. It's got pink buffalo check down the sides with the welcome and the cute little bunny. And I think it's because they added details like this bunny and how great they did with the shiplap in the background is what makes me want to put this up in my home because that is a high quality image whereas before Dollar Tree was just delivering like the cutesy images if you know what I mean you guys know what I mean so that one says every bunny welcome with the little bunny so cute and then this one says happy Easter and again, it's got the cute little eggs at the bottom with the black and white buffalo check. And um, I just I just love them. I think they're great. $1.25. This sign is bigger than my upper body. So I, I'm not mad at the price increase. I, I understand it does add up very quickly. Trust me, everything with the gas and... Just prices going up everywhere, which really makes not much sense to me, but, um, you know, it, it does add up. So trust me when I tell you that I get it, but I, I have seen much better items in the stores since the price increase. So I always try to find like the silver lining in things. So that's my silver lining in the situation. Okay, now we're going to get into... I've never seen Easter eggs like this at Dollar Tree. I, I'm sure there have been some. Maybe I just didn't pay attention, but all different shaped Easter eggs. So obviously I picked these up for my girls. Um, these are cute little cars. So they're perfect to fit like bigger candies in or even toys. You know, maybe you don't give your kids or grandkids candy or, you know, I don't know the case, but I'm just saying, you know, these are good size to add bigger items into. So those are the little cars and they're like rainbow colored. Look how cute they are. These are even cute just to have the kids play with, not even for Easter. Um, so I picked up one pack of those. I picked up a pack of the little unicorn eggs. Now these are on the smaller side, but you do get more in the pack, so it makes sense. But I love the colors. Yes, baby, you're sitting with Bro-Bro, I know. I know. Mommy be done almost in a minute, okay? I love you. I love you. Here, Mommy's got a toy for you. Never a dull moment in the Norman household. <laughs> okay. So, like I said, I picked up the unicorn ones. Um, I thought they were super cute for the girls. And then the last pack that I picked up were these super cute seashell ones. Now, they're perfect for Easter, but I thought summer, right? Um, beach decor, nautical farmhouse decor, stuff like that. So that's what I picked up these for, um, but they're super cute. I'll open them and show you. My thought with these, like as soon as I open these up, a cute mermaid birthday party, you could hot glue these like this and then like put pearls in it, like so many options. You could Mod Podge it and like dip it in sand. Like, I don't know, my mind is going many places, but that is what I picked up the seashell Easter eggs for. 
Okay, so I only have a few more um, Easter items to share with you guys. One of them are these cute little popcorn containers. They have a little Easter wreath with carrots, and then at the bottom it's got the cute little buffalo check truck. And we recently just got this like tasty popcorn thing. We love popcorn. My dad has a popcorn maker. Um, my friend used to make popcorn for the kids. So I was really excited to see those. So I picked up those. It comes in a pack of two and I have two girls. So that's why I only picked up one pack of these, but they had several other designs, which you guys know I'll pop up. Um, and they were all super cute designs too, but I, I think this is just a sticker. So if you wanted to personalize this, you totally could. Now the second to last item I picked up is this carrot garland. Now this is not a new item. I know for a fact I saw these last year um, because I do have some out in the shed as well, but I had an idea for these. So I picked up one pack of those and you get two, four, six carrots on the strand and it is six foot long. Now, the carrots aren't the best quality, but for a dollar twenty-five, um, I don't I don't know. Is that worth it to you guys for a dollar twenty-five? Some items I'm like, uh, I don't know if it is. And then other items, I'm like, yeah, definitely. I, that's one of the items where I'm iffy. So let me know what you guys think. And then the last Easter item that I picked up, which was probably my favorite item that I found, are these cute little bottle brush carrots. They don't say that, but that's what they are. They look like bottle brush trees. And then they are cut down like a carrot. They're orange. They've got um, raffia bows with raffia for the greenery. They're just so cute. Let me open them. I hate when they do this. I, I hate when they do this. They staple. Okay, look, like look. Seriously, how stinking cute. <laughs> like, I just can't get over how cute they are. Two for $1.25, I think that's definitely worth it. These are very well made. They're super cute. I think they did a great, great job with these. So I picked up three packs of these. So all in all, I paid almost four bucks for six of them. I think that's a good deal. What do you guys think? Look how cute they are. You cannot tell me these are not so stinking cute. Okay. So that is it for the Dollar Tree Easter items. Now, while I was there, I came across these super cute, high-end looking candles. Look at this, white clove. It says number one, scented candle. I mean, look at the shape. I think this is so beautiful. It's not like you can see through it a little bit so you'll be able to see the flame which I think is gorgeous the label that's what does it for me the label if it's not popping if it's not picking up I'll, I'll pop up a picture per usual but I picked up one of those because that was the only one that I saw and then I also picked up this gorgeous I'm not sure what you want to call it, like what shape. I know it's a candle, Palo Santo. It smells okay. I got it for the shape more. It, it reminds me like a little cauldron or something. I don't know. But I thought it would be super cute like in my bathroom or something. I don't know. So I did pick up one of those. I thought I picked up another one, but apparently I did not. So, you guys, that is it for my Dollar Tree items. Now we're going to jump into the Walmart items. It's only a few. It's not very many. Oh, wait. I did pick up these first aid portable packs um, while I was walking out the door because with kids, you can't ever have enough things. You can't ever have enough, you know, safety precautions when you have kids, so... Always keep stuff like this in my purse, just in case, right? 
<laughs> okay, now moving on to the Walmart items. This is my favorite item I got. I have not put it together yet because I want to do a TikTok and Instagram. If you're not following me over there, follow me at All Things Crafty too. Subscribe here if you love anything DIY on a budget hauls thrift flips, thrift hauls, DIY, Dollar Tree DIYs. All that good stuff is what I do here on my channel and I would love to have you a part of that. So anyway, here is my favorite item. It is the bunny tear tray. Now if you guys remember back in, at Valentine's Day, I found a heart tear tray at Walmart. So I think it's a new thing that they're doing for every season, every holiday, whatever. They're going to come out with a new tear tray. I can bet, I, I bet any amount of money on it because it's just a trend that we're seeing. So anyway, and what they do is they sell the tear tray for... This one was $12.98 because it's really, really good size. The one back at Valentine's Day was only $9.98 because it was on the smaller side. But they sell all like the little decor that goes on the tear tray. So super smart. So that's what I picked up. That tear tray. I picked up these two signs. Okay guys, I am all over the place. I had this candle right here next to me. And when I went to go show you these other signs, I realized I knew I picked up another candle. I thought that this was gorgeous. I'm into this like eucalyptus color right now. And that's what it reminds me of. So this will go really well with farmhouse decor, with any type of greenery, lamb's ear, wreath, stuff like that. This would look gorgeous sitting right next to it. So um, I lost the thing that goes in the top where it says the like this one says Palo Santo so I lost the thing that went in there so I can't tell you what it's called I might have footage of it if I do I'll let you know but it smells so good mm, I love that one better than the other one so for real this time <laughs> that is the last Dollar Tree item so for the tear tray stuff that I got at Walmart, these were only 98 cents a piece. This one's white and says Hoppy Easter and it's just got like the shiplap. <laughs> shiplap everywhere, right? <laughs> and then this one's that light green that matches my new kitchen cabinet color and it says he is risen in cursive. So this is like the Ray Dunn font. And then this one is cursive. So I thought those were super cute for the tiered tray. And then these also matched really good with the with my cabinets and this sign. And one side says Happy Easter. There you got in my camera. Just tries to find my face and focus on my face. And then the other side just says faith. And then the other one is pretty much the same thing. So it's black. This side says happy Easter. And then this side says Alleluia. <laughs> Alleluia. So I thought this one was super cute too. I loved how the wording went up the side of it instead of this way. And these were only, I should have mentioned that, I think I did mention, these were only 98 cents. These were only 98 cents, so cheaper than Dollar Tree. Um, now, they're not like heavy or whatever, but I think they're worth 98 cents, especially because they're double-sided. And then the um, last few tiered tray items that I picked up were these Easter decor um, carrots. It's just like a bundle of carrots. Now you could take them apart and decorate with them like individually in your tiered tray or you could just lay them in there like this. So I would probably just leave them like that but I'm not sure till I put it together. And then last but not least item. I cannot wait to show you what I do with this. Maybe I'll include it in the end of this video 
me putting this tiered tray together and what I do with this bunny, um, but I can't make any promises because your girl is tired and busy and doing the best I can. But I paid $4.98 for this guy. He's really good size. I thought he was super cute. So I do not mind paying money for good quality items. So I really loved this bunny and I knew that I had to have him because when you guys see what I'm going to do with him, $5 for him too. So anyway, now the last three, the last three Walmart items that I picked up are all ribbon. I love getting my ribbon from Walmart. I think it's a really good deal most of the time, not all the time, but I mean, this is a really good roll and this was $3.98. And look at the detail. It's got the bunnies, the carrots. Like, I just absolutely love that. And for four bucks, I think it looks super high end. Um, if you go to Michael's and pick this up, you're going to pay $10 easy for this roll. Yeah, about $10. So I'll pay $4 all day long. Um, now, this one has even more on the roll. This is 12 foot. Oh, no, they're both 12 foot. This is $3.98 as well. I think maybe the ribbon is just a little bit thicker. That's the difference. But look how gorgeous that buffalo check is. That color. Again, it's the color of my cabinets. It goes with this. This. And this. And this could go with it as well because it's got green in it. But anyway, the last ribbon that I picked up is the tan buffalo check. I think it's like a goldish tannish, but it's perfect for spring decor really any time of year. It's not picking up because of the light. There we go. And I just love, I love all three of them. So to get an idea of them all together, sorry. My bunny was upside down. How stinging cute, you guys. So, that is it for today's haul. Let me know down in the comments below which item that I hauled is your favorite. Would you leave these signs as is? Would you, you know, paint them and redo them? I always love to hear your guys' comments and opinions in the comment section. I also just want to tell you guys how much I love and appreciate you. None of this would be possible without you. And as always, if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely gorgeous, you are worthy, and I love you with all my heart and soul and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.